Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a hair video about the Mark Hill pick and mix wand as I've wanted to do this for quite a while. I bought the Deep Waver a few months ago I want to say and the Mermaid Waver has been one of my favourite tools for the Mark Hill pick and mix wand for such a long time and I actually just haven't gotten around to using the Deep Waver. I don't really know why but I actually thought it'd be a good video to compare them both and I'm going to do the Mermaid Waver on one side and the deep waver on the other side just to see if there actually is a difference and if it's worth buying both of them because I just haven't used it yet. But yeah that's essentially what the video is going to be so if you'd like to see that then please carry on watching. So this is my Mark Hill pick and mix wand. I I love this. I'm not gonna lie I do wish that they did different barrels like a plain black one or a plain white one. I think that would be a good idea just saying. But yeah I have quite a lot of extensions for them I guess. I think I have about six. Uh, the ones I use the most definitely are the small and medium barrel. I think this is the medium barrel just for curling your hair. And it's just really easy to use. You literally just twist it and it comes off and then you put another one in. It's just so good and also super affordable. Just try to have a look at the prices. So the main handle is $24.99 and then both the Mermaid and the Deep Wavers are $16.99 so it's a pretty good price to be fair because you're getting a two in one as well. And they also often do a three for two. I'm pretty sure every single time I've bought them, I've done it on a three for two. This is what they look like. Look how much bigger this one is. And it's like, I think it's thicker as well. This one is the Mermaid Waver, the one that I use all the time. Well, no, not all the time, but I use it a lot and I really, really love it. And then this is the Deep Waver, which is very heavy. You would not want to travel with this. So I think what I'm gonna do is do the Mermaid first on this side just because I'm used to using it. There's just one little switch to turn it on. You can't like control the heat or anything. Yeah, I do just wish they would do the handle in different colors because I think that would be such a good idea and I would definitely buy another one. There we go, I've just sectioned off my hair. I like to kind of do my hair in two halves. I always split it down the middle and then do like the bottom layer and then I do the top layer. I know some people split it into like three, but honestly, I don't think I have the patience for that. Right, I think this is heated up. Just to let you know, I do have a mirror here because I just thought a little mirror wouldn't suffice. So I do apologize, but I am gonna be looking this way. <laughs> There we go, that is the bottom layer. Tell you what, I haven't done this to my hair since I've moved house, so I used to use this all the time, honestly, but I don't think I've used it since I've moved house and I kind of forgot how much I love it. What do I do with my bangs? I've, I don't think I've seen anyone use the Mermaid Waver with bangs before. Surely I don't crimp the bangs, right? I feel like that would look weird, but then I also think it looks weird when you have straight bangs and then the rest of your hair's curly. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I might crimp it slightly. <laughs> I absolutely loved using my crimpers in secondary school. I feel like I always felt very cool when I crimped my hair. So like, you know, I'm roughly doing like 10 seconds when I hold it down. I don't really know how much you're meant to do it for, but 10 seconds always seems to work for me. with these bits. Okay, I'm just gonna slightly crimp them. Yeah, like a little, like not too much. I just did a little, because also I just think it would have looked very weird. Okay, so that is the Mermaid Waver. It actually looks a little bit crazy that I've just done one side, but I love it so much. It does look a lot better when both sides are done, obviously. Look how great it works. Obsessed. Right. Right, I'm now going to put this one on. I'll tell you what, I don't know how excited I am for having completely different hair for the day. I might just have to try and sort it out and just brush through it all to hope that it all looks the same in the end because I don't actually want both sides to look completely different. Okay, it seems hot enough now. Right, let's see. I am gonna apologize because because I'm turning this way, I feel like you're not gonna be able to see it as well. Which is a little bit of an issue. I'll try not to turn my head too much. Um, let's try that 
piece again. Hmm. Okay, do I keep going? I'll tell you what, I'll do all the bottom bit. We'll see. You know what? That's just not, that just looks really bad. I'm like, do I just end the review here and just do the mermaid way for now? That's really not that great. I'll try another bit. It just looks, is it supposed to look like this? I'm just not happy with that. I'm really sorry, but I think I'm just gonna go with the mermaid waver on this side as well because look at that side. I don't know, is it just me? Or does it literally just look like I've just, that my hair was like this when I woke up? I'm gonna go ahead and do the mermaid waver on this side as well. I'm very sorry, but honestly, I, I don't really want this side of my hair to look like this. I don't even know what it's doing to it, but it's not doing much. It's almost like it's going for natural beach waves, but failing maybe. I just not, I'm just not very happy with it. There we go, that is my hair. I feel like I know exactly what I'm gonna say for this video, and I think it's pretty obvious. I don't know if the deep waver is from the sound of it, and maybe I should have, I don't know, maybe I should have read up on it or watched other people using it, but it gave me the impression that it was gonna give even deeper waves than the mermaid waver, like bigger waves, and I honestly felt like it did worse like the opposite and I do definitely regret buying it because it's it doesn't really do anything unless I'm using it wrong and maybe you're meant to hold it for twice the amount of time which is a long time to be holding heat on your hair so if anything I would just recommend to get the mermaid waver because I definitely just regret getting the deep waver maybe I was using it wrong and if I was I'm sorry but I just don't think it's for me and I just didn't really like the way it looked. Even if it is supposed to look like that, I just think this looks so much nicer. So I think I'm gonna to continue to use my Mermaid Waver and possibly sell on the other one in case someone else might like it. But yeah, the Mermaid Waver, so good. Honestly, If even if you're just getting the pick and mix wand for the Mermaid Waver, I absolutely love it. So yeah, that is the end of this video. I'm sorry I didn't actually end up doing a complete side of each one but honestly I just I just hated the deep wave so much I didn't want to do a whole side of my hair with it I mean at least you got my review of that but yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>